Hi guys, it's me, Anne, over at the Plan Obsessed channel, and we're looking in on the Go Suck a Lemon African Nightcrawlers, and we're going to see what's happening here. Really looks like they're working through the everything, the bedding. I just went back and looked at this video. I can smell the oranges a little bit, but I'm not really seeing any oranges. So there must be some sort of remnants left. Just not seeing any chunks. Keep saying I'm going to throw those things outside and I just never get around to it. And although this looks really dry right now, I took, I don't know, a couple gallons out of the bottom and harvested it, and it was mucky. I mean, really wet, dripping, dripping wet. So for as dry as all of this looks, uh, the bottom was really horribly wet. It wasn't really... Not really sure what to think about that because I don't add water to this system. See, you know, these to me look like tomato skins. I'm not really sure what that is. But I'm not finding any evidence of the lemons. But we haven't looked everywhere yet. So I did take a, like I said, a little, probably a gallon, a little over a gallon out. And uh, it was really wet, still had quite a few worms in it. Uh, I didn't videotape it. It's uh, in such a place in my house that all you would get to see would be my rump up in the air, wiggling around trying to get underneath this thing. Hindsight 2020, I think I would have liked longer legs so that I had more access to it. I'll put that on my husband's to-do list, <laughs> which he's probably watching this going, my to-do list is already too dang long now. All right, so I'm still digging, and I'm not finding any evidence of that citrus at all. None at all, except for a very faint fragrance. Just a very faint fragrance of, of you know, citrus. And the only thing I am finding is this, which I think is orange tomatoes skin. So not only wasn't the uh, lemons bad for them, they absolutely annihilated them. So now <laughs> I'm going to have to go find something else for them to eat. I kind of thought maybe it would take them a couple weeks to get that done, but uh, it's summer and... This is the first time that I've went through a summer with, let me see, yep, I think this is part of a lemon, this one little, one little whatever left, all you can see are the fibers. Alright, well I will bring you back when I've got some food for these guys. Alright guys, well I went and dug some bags out of my freezer and I've got seven and a half pounds of frozen coffee, banana peels, orange peels, coffee grounds. Um, I'm not sure what else is in here. Uh, biodegradable bags. It's like some paper towel. I'm gonna get some dry cardboard to put underneath of it because I just told you I had a little bit of a problem with the water so I'm gonna try and mitigate that before. Okay, I have dug out a pit here and I'm putting the cardboard that is not shredded down here and hopefully that will absorb the melting of the, the fruit and vegetables. 
That was probably a couple pounds of fruit and vegetables I gave them last week. So I was a little surprised that they didn't, that, that any of that was, you know, there wasn't anything left. I thought that was a little weird. So here's the first one. It's still really frozen. Some banana peels, oranges. And then here's the rest of probably mostly coffee and coffee filters from work. And I'm going to cover that back up with the shredded paper. Hopefully that will mitigate anything from getting too sloppy wet under there again. I know it's not as pretty as the, the brilliant oranges and, and lemons and everything that I had last week, but I think it's pretty amazing that they ate everything in such a short amount of time. All right, well, there we go. That's the end of that. So uh, they did indeed suck on a lemon and ate it, and there was no evidence it was ever here. Such good worms. Makes up for all the, the worry I did about them last winter. If I keep them upstairs here where there's heat, then hopefully we can have a good winter too and they can continue producing for me. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Give me a muddy thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and click the bell notification if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. You'll know before I know. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good night.